20 years ago, a failed graphic designer sacked for incompetence turned his artistic talents to writing and illustrating his own work. Youthful yaks, yodelling in yellow yachts and others were the result in the beautiful, captivating, somewhat twisted children's classic Animalia. The alphabet book with beautiful drawings has sold millions worldwide and is now set to mesmerise a whole new television audience. Author Graham Basie is here to take us on a journey that brings Animalia to our screens. Good morning, G'day, Graham. Good day, Graham. Good day. Was, was being sacked for incompetence the best thing that ever happened to you? Yeah, that's <laughs> what they say, isn't it? You know, you let, never look back. I spent about 18 months in the advertising business, went through three jobs, hated them all, they hated me. And so we parted company and I went and you know, tried my hand in publishing instead and, you know, it worked. But, but what gave you the, the, the guts to, to get up and do it? I mean, because this is not a short project. This is a, re required an enormous amount of time and effort. Oh, well, after Animalia, the original book, yeah, the was original. It like that was a three-year project for me and I was, I was being kept... My, my wife was a, a teacher, so she was, like, paying the rent and I was just doing this insane project. You think, you know, why would anybody spend three years doing an alphabet book as if it hadn't been done before? Yeah, um, yeah. And I don't think anyone had any great expectations, or I didn't have any expectations expectations other than getting it finished so I could get on with something sensible in life. Why was mm. it... It's been enormously successful. It's, it's generated a number, number of other books that you've, you've illustrated and written. What is it about it, do you think? It's, it's more I, than just the <laughs> illustrations, isn't it? I think it's because it wasn't targeted at any particular audience. And I've never done that. I've never... I've never... I've always tried to avoid talking down to kids. Um, and with Animalia, it was a book with extraordinary complexity, and yet it would work at a very simple level. You could have you know, crafty crimson cats carefully catching crusty crayfish or something like that. And some very, very young kids would just see the cats. Yeah. And the yeah. other kids would see, you know, a piece of cake. But then you'd see it was a piece of cream cake, cream coffee cake, cream coffee chocolate cake crowned with a cluster of cherries containing calories and carbs. And, you know, it just goes yeah. on and on and on. And it was that layering that actually got a really big audience interested in the book. And, and also it was the layering that got you in a bit of trouble for putting things like swastikas and drowning in it. Yeah, so I know. I, I sort of, I, I tried to point out, well, you know, this is, this is not a good idea to censor things. And there was a swastika but then there was lots of other things. There was, there was a, a dragons with, with pointy teeth that people took uh, exception to. In the G page, there was a ghost and a ghoul and gallows and a guillotine and... You know, but you know, if I if I started pulling out that kind of stuff, you mm. know, it yeah. would have really just... Did you, uh, did you do a lot of drugs? <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't. It's, I, so, I, it's you should say that because people, <laughs> no, people used to say, so where do you get your ideas? And I was like, oh, drugs, you know. And uh, just as a joke, but, you know, it's, it's amazing that somebody could... Um, you know, do that. I mean, for, for me, it's all to do with keeping your mind really, really clear yeah, yeah. so that, you know, the inspiration can strike rather than the opposite. And so it's, it's, such, it's, such, a, it's mm. such precision illustration as well. It's, it's just, you know, I mean, yeah. there's, there's so much in it. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how you just possibly kept coming up with the ideas. Well, they take a while. Uh, I'm, not, I'm never short of ideas. Mm. Uh, the, the ideas is, the, is, is that's the, in some ways the easy bit. It's the fact that it takes years to do each book that's the problem for mm. me. Mm. Um, and then I discovered you know, when, when this thing started getting made into a TV series, that making the book was the easy bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, that, that was only three, three years, but we've been working on the TV for nearly eight years well, now. Let's, let's talk yeah. about the TV series first. Mm. Let's have a look let's first have a look. to give us some idea of what's happening.